Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the tech news of the day. By the way, before we get started, hit the like button or dislike button and share button as well. Just click it and come back and if possible, comment below this video as well. It helps our channel a lot. Now with that said, here's the tech news. Apple has never been upfront about how long they will be providing software updates for their devices. Well, now it has changed. According to a recent US regulations, Apple and literally any other company selling IoT products has to mention how long they're going to provide security for those particular devices. And Apple has revealed that it will be providing five years of updates for iPhone 15 from the date of its launch or the supply date. So the latest iPhone 15 and the 15 series itself will receive updates from Apple till 2028. It might even receive after 2028, but till 2028, it will definitely receive it. Besides that, here's a quick comparison. Google and Samsung are giving seven years of OS updates, not just security updates, OS updates for their latest devices. So that's a good comparison. By the way, which device are you using? Android or Apple? Do let me know by commenting below this video. Xiaomi has launched Redmi 13, a 4G based phone in China, or I guess it's globally. Anyway, the thing is, it's going to come to India pretty soon and it's going to replace the Redmi 12, which is also a 4G phone. Well, Redmi 12 came with a Helio G88 processor and it's priced right now around 10,000 rupees. And the new Redmi 13 will come with a MediaTek Helio G91 processor, which is also a 4G processor and should be priced around 10 or 11,000 rupees. My recommendation, skip it and consider iQ Xenon-X or other phones in this price segment, which also support 5G. Realme has launched a new phone in India. It's called the Realme Narzo N63. It comes with a 6.7 inch display, blah, blah, blah. And the important thing is it comes with a Unisoc T612 processor. It's definitely better than the 606, but still an entry level processor. It's priced at 8,000 rupees for the base variant, 4GB and 64GB RAM. Once again, skip this device, invest a little and buy a phone around 11 or 12,000 rupees like iQ Z9X or the Realme N65. They are definitely much better phones than this and they'll last you much longer than this phone. Yule phone or whatever it's called, Yule phone Armored 25T Pro. This phone has been launched and this is the most affordable 5G rugged phone. It's just priced at $290. You can buy it on AliExpress. It's a rugged phone. It has thermal imaging. It has infrared night vision. It has IP68 water and dust resistance. It comes with a MediaTek Diamond T 6300 processor with Android 14 right out of the box. Like if you want a good Android phone, you can definitely get a much better phone at this price. But if you are working all the time and you want a rugged phone which can take quite a few beatings, this is something you might want to consider. Few Chinese scientists have developed uh, the world's first electronic skin using artificial skin technology. Well, they used bionic three-dimensional architecture. Well, there's a lot of jargon here. You can just go to that link to know more information about it. But the final result is that they actually created artificial skin which can measure pressure, friction and strain at physical level. Obviously, right now it's in the prototype phase, but if we get a commercial product, it has a lot of uses. So I am really looking forward for this product. Realme has been teasing a lot about the Realme GT6 and they even teased about their new AI features. Well, they are AI night vision mode, which takes better photos or videos in low lighting conditions. AI smart removal, that's another name for magic eraser from Google. And they have something called AI smart loop. Now, this sounds a bit interesting, but there really isn't anything AI in it. Like whenever you try to copy or share a link, it'll dynamically provide you different options based on the content you have selected. Once again, nothing AI, but as I've said, they are trying to put AI on everything. So that's about Realme GT. Next, OnePlus Pad 2 is going to be launching pretty soon, probably in a month. So if you are looking to buy a tablet around 30, 40,000 rupees, better wait for this tablet and Xiaomi Pad 7 will also be launching pretty soon. So if you're looking for some high configuration tablets, definitely wait for a month or two. There are some pretty good stuff. By the way, OnePlus Pad 2 will be coming with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor with a 12 inch display. So that's definitely going to be an awesome tablet if you're into gaming. If you're looking for a normal tablet, you really don't have to spend so much and you can actually buy an iPad, which is much better in the long run. Finally, there's a OnePlus community sale going on on Amazon. So if you're looking to buy OnePlus products, these few days are definitely a pretty good choice. So guys, that's all the news I have for today. If you like this video, hit the dislike button. If you don't like this video, hit the like button. Comment below this video. What do you think about the new upcoming OnePlus Pad 2? And definitely let us know what do you think about the new Apple policy about security updates. We'll definitely like to hear about that. With that said, this is Nikhil signing off. See you tomorrow.